big news. We've now got GPT-5 inside Microsoft 365 Copilot. But what is it? What does it mean? Why should you care? How is this going to change your world? So here's the announcement from OpenAI. This is the model that is used underneath Microsoft 365 Copilot. The Copilot experiences all use these OpenAI models. And on the day this was released, it was also released in Copilot. This model is smart, fast, and has built-in thinking. Basically what that means is instead of it just being one model that looks after things or relying on you to know that there are different models and that you need to choose the right one, it does that for you. So it's able to understand, interpret what you're asking for. And if it's simple, it will get the job done quickly. And if it is more complex, it will use a deeper reasoning in order to be able to respond. Let's take a look at a demo in a classic use case that a lot of people use, which is asking questions about a policy document. So I've got my Microsoft 365 Copilot experience here. I'm in the work tabs connected to everything I do at work. And this is my try GPT-5 button that I can use when I want to use that new feature. Let's start by asking a basic question here. What can I do if I think my manager is treating me unfairly? Now, I haven't switched on this new GPT-5. This is the experience that you would be used to. And so what it's going to do is refer to the policy documents, figure out, interpret my question to understand that this should look for some kind of grievance policy or some other kind of policy. But, you know, it's not entirely clear what policy I'm looking for. So it's going through and sort of saying, here are the best practices to take based on workplace experts. Uh, you can see there it's pulled out the anti-discrimination bullying policy, the health and safety policy. So it has come up with some reasonable suggestions. Let's have a look at what happens here if we start a new chat and switch on this new GPT-5. Let's put the same question in here. What can I do if I think my manager is treating me unfairly? Now, this is a straightforward question. This one doesn't require a lot of deep reasoning in the language model. So you'll see what happens here is that it has responded. Certainly that was much quicker than the last one. So speed is definitely part of this, but it's actually picked up something more relevant here, which is the grievance policy. And it's actually sort of put this together in a way. It's just a lot more sort of useful and practical in terms of what it thinks I should do and the actions I should take next. So as a starting point, quality of the answer, speed of the answer for a basic question is higher quality than what we've had before. Let's give it a go on something more complex. Let's say I want to do something like evaluating a policy, which requires a different level of understanding and thinking through and perhaps reasoning over things. Again, I'm showing you first here without GPT-5 switched on. So it's asking now, you know, I'm in HR, I'm asking it to evaluate this policy and make recommendations. So it goes through and gives me strengths of the current policy. It's clear in purpose and scope. We've got some recommendations to improve the clarity around the structure, the language, procedural steps. Not bad. Let's see what happens with the new one, because this model is now able to say, for a question like this, please evaluate something. It needs to think differently. It needs to kind of go into a deeper reasoning and use that. So here we go. If you've used the research agent or if you've used any kind of deep reasoning, you'll be familiar with this. This is called chain of thought reasoning. So I haven't asked it to use a different model. The GPT-5 is able to go, I think we need to do some reasoning to get a better answer for this question. And so it goes through its chain of thought. I'm searching for the policy. I'm preparing to evaluate the clarity. Uh, it's having some issues kind of searching and checking what's available to find the policy, but it sorts it out planning clarity improvements, all right, seems to have done with its uh, chain of thought. And here's what we're getting. So firstly, it's not just coming straight back with the answer. It's telling me what it's reviewed. So it's telling me which document it's found. It is giving cross references to other things. So this is actually helping me understand that problem where we started, where there's multiple policies that are overlapping here. The strengths are good. So here we go in terms of the improving of clarity. This is much more specific than what we got before. And if I were in this situation as an HR manager trying to improve this policy, this is way better. Look at this. Let's tighten the cross-policy navigation, strengthen confidentiality. Whereas here, we were getting things about the sort of structure and navigation, simplifying the language, procedural steps. Like You can see how much more 
sophisticated this is because it's worked out that it needs to use that deeper reasoning and it's going through and giving all of that as well as some other stuff from other sources on the web. So GPT-5, there's a little button there that you can press. Give that a try. The best way to learn this stuff is to just press that button and give it a go. And notice the difference in how it improves the responses of your fast queries, your quick, simple queries, quicker and more quicker and better uh, and how much better it does with those complex queries I think that's where you're really going to note the difference because you don't have to go to the research agent and have this great big long thing we're getting this nice lightweight chain of thought reasoning but it's deciding and helping figure out when you need to use that if you are a Copilot Studio user you've also got access to this one you can choose the model so that your agents who are building in Copilot Studio can use this as well Exciting times. This is moving so fast. We are going to constantly see these improvements. I hope this little video has helped you keep up to date and understand why this matters and encourage you to have a go. Subscribe for more on Microsoft 365, Copilot and Copilot Studio. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.